let's talk about this um, uh, conversation. It will be ongoing, Libros, uh, but you, you can hear some of the salient points that she's raised. How do you, I mean, what are your reactions? Yeah, um, uh, I'm very particular about the area of, um, you know, it, because um, I think it's um, section 21 or so, or to section 20 of the bill, it, that says uh, if in the opinion of the Director General of um, the Center for Disease Control, any of his uh, men, that um, somebody suspicious of having, mm. uh, you know, escaped from, um, you know, an actual solution center, or if you suspect somebody, Section 15 says, if you suspect somebody to, you know, be having an infectious disease. So, and like I said, you know, in my advocacy, that would mean everybody carrying a certificate of uh, non-infectious <laughs> disease because, <laughs> because how are we going to <laughs> that you can be arrested without warrant if you suspect what it means you know how do you determine by face value that somebody has infectious disease and and so the police will no longer need the police act of 1976 all they need is to key into the infectious disease act and then begin to arrest without warrants. All you just say, you see, we, we suspect him to have, mm -hmm. you know, he's been coughing, infectious so just disease. He's been coughing, he's <laughs> been yawning. So you just pick him up and put him in isolation center. The lady in Bainway, you know, we're still dealing with that. Even the federal government, you know, with the Quarantine Act, their hands were tied, not to talk of um, the issue of now empowering mm. a director general uh, to, you know, arrest without warrant indiscriminately to declare houses isolation center, you know, and then government is not doing what they should do. There is no way in that bill that, you know, empowers government to provide, you know, health institution, mm -hmm. to even provide, as we speak now, people still openly defecate in waters. Oh, so let's not government go there. is not providing all of these basic necessities that will reduce infections. Mm. And yet you're not bringing a bill. It, it's, it's, it's so unfortunate and laughable. I don't yeah. even imagine that it's coming from a very senior member of the bar who should know better. That, that's the ir ironical part of it. Mm. Clearly there are issues with this bill. We'll continue with other matters in the news.